Let's make some easy homemade cinnamon rolls. Come. To a bowl, you're going to add in two cups of all-purpose flour, third of a cup of white sugar, two packets of rapid yeast, instant yeast. Um, this is one I'm using, two of those. And then a teaspoon of salt and mix that all together. I'm using also unbleached um, flour, all-purpose flour, because it's supposed to be better for you or something. So let's do it. You're gonna add in one and a half cups of warm water and six tablespoons of butter. I know there's only five lumps here, but there are six tablespoons. I just cut some of them really big. So I'm gonna let these sit for like a minute or so, and then we're gonna throw it in our mixture. I think it's sad enough, so I'm gonna throw that in there along with one egg that I'm gonna crack. I'm just going to mix that all together now, and I scrambled the egg a little bit with the spoon, so do what you gotta do, baby. Add in two more cups of all-purpose flour and just mix that together. That's most of the two cups mixed in. Now we're going to mix in a half a cup and mix until we can't and then do it by hand and just start kneading it. All right, that's pretty perfect. We're going to throw it in the ball, cover it up for about 10 minutes or so. It's been resting for more than 10 minutes, so I'm going to take it out and throw it on my floured surface. If you flour a surface like this for cinnamon rolls, dust it over here. If you were to go like this and put your dough there, you'd have a big clump of flour on one section of your dough. So you don't want to dust it and then go like this and smooth it out. The dusting is what smooths it out. Dust the top and then roll this into a rectangle as best as you can. Throw about four tablespoons of softened butter on there and just get it all spread out. This is a blast, kind of. Not really. I don't think I like it. You should always write love somewhere in here so somebody knows that it was made with love. I don't know who it is, but somebody should know. Sprinkle with as much as your little heart or big heart desires. I just like a lot of cinnamon, so I'm just going to keep sprinkling for a little bit. Then you're going to sprinkle on about three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar, or you could do white, whatever you want, but I want brown. Now you're just gonna roll it, either way you roll it towards you or away from you, just make sure that when you're rolling, it's a very tight roll. If you don't wanna do that, you can cut them into strips like this and roll each little cinnamon roll like that. It's very easy that way too, but I'm gonna try the big roll first. All right, so I'm gonna try and make 12 rolls. So I'm gonna cut it in half and then half again and see how many I can get. Maybe they'll just make eight, I don't know. You kind of want to take your knife and just saw it back and forth, or you can use dental floss so that you can get that perfect swirl. Look at that. That looks so good. One thing about me is I'm never consistent. Yikes. Uh, you should take them and face them all the same way like this, and then press down in the middle like with your thumb, and let them rise for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just don't let them overproof. I'm going to go probably for 20 minutes because my kitchen is really hot. Pressing down in the middle allows them to rise back up, and that's what we're looking for. We want a little bit more rise on them while they sit. But, I mean, look at that swirl. I'm so happy, y'all. I'm so happy. And you know what? We turned this one over because it was ugly on the other side, so why not? All right. Throw a cover, a towel, a saran wrap, whatever you got for about 20 minutes. If your house is super cold, maybe do... 30, 40 minutes. It says to do an hour, but I think that'll over purpose. So I'm going to start at 20. All right. These have been sitting for 25 or so minutes and see how I pressed them down and they came back up. That's what it's supposed to do. So we're going to throw these in the oven for 15 minutes to start and then do another 10 if we need maybe 30 minutes total, but we'll start with 15 and do seven and a half rotate and then seven and a half. And you're going to do it at 3.50 and like I said, seven and a half minutes to start, seven and a half minutes again, rotate and just keep going until they're done. While the cinnamon rolls are almost done baking, I'm going to mix together four ounces of cream cheese and about six tablespoons or four tablespoons of butter and make sure that they're both room temperature and just mix that together. Make sure your temperature is not too high or else you'll burn them on the bottom. We're still going to eat them because why not? Mix about two thirds a cup of powdered sugar in there and mix until it's all together. All right, I added a total of one cup of powdered sugar in there and I'm gonna thin it out with some 2% milk. 
I probably added half a cup of 2% milk or lactose free 2% and then a total of one and a third cup of powdered sugar I think and I just like it this thin so do it however thin you want and I'm gonna throw it all over these beauties and try and make them taste not burnt all right let's give it a try who's gonna know <laughs> it's just a mini <laughs> whatever let's frost them baby all right, let's go try our cinnamon roll with our chili and see how the hubby The cinnamon rolls were so good. We ate them with the chili and it was like top notch. So very happy with that. Hubby really liked them. Um, we both were very happy that I cut. We both were very happy that I cut off the bottoms, the burnt parts. Um, but it was so good. So good with the chili. Um, I don't think that's like a normal pairing. I know that like my friends from Nebraska do it. Um, I think I got some on my cheeks still. But I don't think I'd do it again. I think I'd much prefer cornbread with chili. But the cinnamon rolls were delicious. And I think I ate three or four. So I am feeling it. And they're very good. But I'm feeling it. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.